Hey guys, in today's video we are going to talk how to win with your queen against the, your opponent's uh, pawn on the 7th rank. Uh, we will talk about some theory, when is it is a win for you and when it is the draw. And we will have one... Um, one puzzle at the end. Uh, first thing first, uh, you can win if your opponent have a B, D, E or G pawn. Uh, that, that is a win for you. Uh, and your opponent, if he has a rook or the bishop um, pawn, then it is the draw. Uh, that is if your king is too far away and we'll talk uh, about what uh, would happen if your king is uh, closer. Uh, for example, in this uh, this uh, position, you give check, and if your opponent, for example, go go uh, up, you just step in front of uh, the pawn, and you give uh, you come closer with your king and eliminate this pawn and win the game. So that is uh, probably not what your opponent uh, would like to do. Uh, he would play king to c1, and this is one maneuver you should remember in uh, order to in order to win the game. You should uh, you uh, start series of checks and uh, go. go closer and attack your opponent's pawn. He defends it and as soon as he uh, steps in front of your pawn, you got, uh, took uh, the opportun opportunity and go uh, closer with your king. And you just rinse and repeat the process. He tries to uh, go up and uh, you just uh, repeat the process, uh, give check and as soon as he uh, uh, step in front, you go closer. and. Uh, just a couple of circles later, you should be uh, close enough with your king and uh, make a mating pattern. For example, here you can play a uh, beautiful king to a4 uh, and make the mating pattern. If he uh, promotes to the queen, then you uh, have this uh, checkmate. And if he tries to be smart and promote uh, to the knight, you have uh, this uh, this mate on the b3. We'll see how you can win if your opponent has d or e pawn. It is the same process. You give uh, the series of uh, series of checks and your opponent probably uh, uh, don't want to uh, be in front of his pawn and he would try to be um, closer to the middle of the board as possible. But you just give checks and uh, for example in this position if your opponent plays uh, queen, uh, king to e3 uh, you, you have this uh, this maneuver and uh, uh, no matter what your opponent plays you you step in front of the, the in front of his pawn and you give uh, come closer with your king and uh, win easily easily game. So um, he will probably probably uh, probably didn't uh, want to do that and he uh, go closer uh, to, to his pawn but you just rinse and repeat basically uh, the maneuver as soon as he step in front of the pawn you go uh, go closer with your king and uh, repeat the process attack the pawn and as soon as he in front of the pawn with his king you uh, uh, go closer and a uh, couple couple of circles later you will be uh, close enough with your king and you would uh, make uh, a mating pattern and uh, you will eliminate your opponent's pawn and you uh, easily win the game. This is the beauty of this study. We will see uh, why it is, uh, it is the bishop's uh, pawn, it is the draw. You try the same concept, give a couple of checks, but your opponent just um, go to, to the, to the uh, edge of the board and into the corner. And if you try the same maneuver, give check and uh, hope to your opponent's go in front of his pawn, he just go to the corner and said, um, I don't care about the pawn, uh, take the pawn. And if you take the pawn, uh, it is uh, it is a draw because it is the stalemate. That is just how the, the geometry of the boards uh, work. So uh, that is why the bishop's, uh, bishop's uh, pawn is, uh, it is a draw. Uh, we'll see why it is the draw if your opponent has a uh, rook spawn. It is the, the similar concept. You give a couple of checks with your king, but your opponent hides in the corner. And yet, he is in front of uh, the pawn, but you cannot uh, take the, the move and uh, go closer with your king because your opponent ha haven't got any legal moves to play. So you must uh, give try to try something else. He, you can give a couple of checks and uh, your opponents uh, just go up and down. And it, it is it is draw. It is If you give checks here, he just go up and down. And if you go um, into the B file, uh, it is it is also the the, the, the draw. And uh, one thing you, your opponent can do it is the you you give uh, for example check, he goes up, and you go check. Your opponent uh, can uh, mate himself. For example, goes to the uh, to the edge of the border, and that is your uh, basically only uh, chance to win this game. 
At the end of this video, we, uh, we have this beautiful study. We, we said already that if your opponent has uh, rook or the bishop a pawn, that it is, it is a draw. But we have exceptions, uh, some exceptions from the rule. And this is one exception. When your, when your king is uh, closer um, to, to your opponent's pawn, for example, uh, two or three um, uh, rows uh, in front, you you would uh, more rather than none uh, win the game. Uh, for example, uh, this is one study when you can. If you try to uh, uh, go in front of the pawn, your opponent just uh, just go closer and, uh, and, and it is a draw. Uh, it, the same concept it is uh, applies if you uh, try to uh, uh, this route to uh, stay in front of his pawn, so it is the draw also. And the winning move, um, you can pause the video if you want and uh, we'll see what is the winning move. Uh, the winning move is actually is uh, queen to uh, d4, d5, sorry. It is the check. And uh, your opponent has um, four legal, uh, three legal moves. One, two, three. And we'll see what happened uh, with each of them. If he uh, plays uh, queen, king to c3, then we'll give check. And uh, the only move he has, it is king to b3. And now we have this maneuver uh, to stay in front of this pawn and... Uh, and uh, and win win uh, easily the game. And uh, if he tries uh, something else, for example, if he tries to uh, goes here, uh, we have this beautiful maneuver also. We'll uh, play queen to g uh, two, and now we attack this pawn. And uh, if he tries to promote, for example, we have this beautiful skewer, and uh, he must uh, step aside, and we'll pick up the queen. And if he tries to, um, if he tries to uh, protect his pawn, we have the same maneuver. Like uh, it is the same basic motive. Just uh, uh, he cannot uh, stop us to uh, get, get in front of the pawn, and we will win the game. And uh, we'll see uh, one last uh, last try from the from the black. If he plays he plays king to e2, we have this maneuver. And he tr tries to uh, st st uh, st stay close to his pawn, and will uh, tries to uh, go in front of the pawn, and he d didn't want to allow, don't want to allow it, and we go closer with our king, and uh, his uh, pawn is pinned, uh, so so he, he cannot uh, promote, uh, only moved to try to uh, save this pawn, and now we uh, make this uh, mating pattern. And now, uh, if he if he promotes, I don't know, I know what you think. If he promotes to the knight, uh, it is easily win. We just step aside and we will uh, mate in uh, next moves. Uh, but if he tries to uh, promote to the queen, we have this checkmate on with the queen on e2. But uh, it is also a funny thing that we can flex a, li a little bit and uh, try to be smart. For example, we can play these flashy moves, move uh, king, uh, queen to e2. And now he don't have. Um, any, any moves basically any moves he, he play he, he's checkmate in uh, three moves tops if he tries to go go up we have this checkmate if he tries to uh, if he tries to uh, play on this di diagonal we have this che checkmate so uh, no matter what he plays it is checkmate in uh, two or three moves his best continuation is uh, to give check and uh, tries to escape but uh, will uh, deliver your checkmate so uh, this video i hope you it is help helpful for you and uh, i hope you learn how to uh, deliver checkmate when the when the, your opponent has pawn on the seventh track see you next video uh, stay sharp and stay stay smart